Hey, Sunday morning service is over. Let your weekly service begin. Happy Resurrection Sunday, although you're going to watch this Monday or Tuesday. What's the big deal about the resurrection? I mean, first of all, how many people resurrect from the dead? There's a few in the Bible, but only one raised himself from the dead. That's Jesus. But that's not how the story ends. The story ends with glory. All former things are gone. They will pass away. But all of what God has called us to enjoy and have with him, no mourning, no crying, no death, no tears, no pain, no nothing. That's how the story ends. And so we get to tell people about this. So I'm going to go back to the resurrection for a second. After the 16-week series, this journey through the Bible in 16 verses for 16 weeks, we end with this glory story and it talks about the resurrection in that as well. The resurrection of the dead. That means that all the way things are messed up here isn't how it's going to end. God's going to restore. So would you find two or three, maybe even more people, this very week, after Easter, after Resurrection Sunday, to tell them why the resurrection is such a big deal to you. If it's not such a big deal to you, give us a shout. Let's talk about it. But if it is a big deal to you, share why. And if it isn't, I would encourage you to, to really look at why wouldn't the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the one who took all the sin on him and died and then rose from the dead, why wouldn't that be a big deal? Maybe, just maybe, it's a big deal, but you might be a little bit unsure on how to share it and why to share it. Just ask people, what are they worried about? What are this, the worst case scenario in your life? And how could God be with you and help you and even overcome that? So lots of different things going on in my mind, in my heart. I'm going to go hang out with my family. You're probably already done hung out with your family. You're already done hung out with your family. So have fun. Enjoy. Look. Make Jesus real by telling people about him, showing what it's like to live for him, and being honest and vulnerable when you're struggling. But share with two, three, or more people why the resurrection is such a big deal to you. All right, God bless you. Be strong and courageous. Let it be contagious. See you next week. Mm -hmm.